Okay, 4.2 additional. You have actually learned this before, but you have not learned it as the additional rule. So this is, uh, let's see, page, we are on page 148, addition rule. There's a definition on top of, above the addition rule. It says a compound event. A compound event is any event combining two or more simple events. Okay, so let's say that we have P of A and P of A, the probability of A is defined as uh, being a female, being a female in Blanchett. So you're a female, okay? So this being female, P of B would be you play sports. Okay, so what is P of A and B? P of what? The probability of you being a female and playing sports. And playing sports, right? So you're a female and playing sports, right? So let's say the probability of uh, being a female P of A was equal to, we're gonna say it was 0.5, half of your, half of your boys, right, okay. P of B, which is the probability of you playing sports, was, yesterday we did this at Tuesday time, right? What was the probability of playing sports? What did she say, like 85% or something like that? That's a lie, that's called like 70. Yeah. 70. That's a lie. 70, do I hear do I hear 75? Do I hear 75? 70, 70, 70. 75%. Okay? So let's say that we are 75. 75% of Blanchett people play sports. Okay? So I want to figure out people who who are female and play sports. Okay. What so what would I do? Well actually no, actually what I'm what I'm really trying to find out is what is the probability of you being either a girl or play sports? So I want to know what the probability is of you playing or being a girl or playing sports is. So I would just add the two, right? Is that correct? Yeah. So I get what? 1.25? Is there a probability of, of 1.25? Is there such a thing? How can there be a probability greater than one? There's no such thing, right? You can't be both. You, you can't have greater than hundred percent probability, right? It's because there's people who are playing both. Because there are people who are playing what? Like there's girls who are so playing. there are people who are actually female and so play the sports. They're in both, yeah. right? Okay, so I'm going to give you that. So let's say that probability of being both is 0.35. So now, what is this? This is what I'm trying to find. So this is what? Probability of being a girl and play sports. So how would I figure this out? And this is what you've learned. Maybe this should ring. Maybe this will ring a bell. Did this ring a bell? Oh, what, 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 what? It's a Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram. There's a guy named Venn came up with this stuff. Okay, it's a Venn diagram. So we'll call this A. We'll call this B. So what is A? A oh. is a female, right? So what is that? It's this is what? 0.5. 0.5. And this is 0.75. Oh. The one in the middle is 0.35. 0.35. 
Which means that this guy would be what? Where'd you get 4.5? Wait, what? From where? Oh, because it's minus. Yeah. Wait, what? So what is this guy? Huh? 75%. Yeah, yeah. 0.5. 0.15? So we agree with 0.15? I don't know. Wait, can we start over? Wait, hold on. You start over and then the other side. Huh? No, the total A is So A is these two together, right? Yeah. Yeah, 7%. 0.5? A is A and B? Yeah. No, A is A. A is female. 0.5 is 370. Is 1.5. Can you do one of the circles in a different color? Pull me back here. That'll make the visual better. So, that means... Okay. It makes the circle as a whole equal. To do this in different colors. So that makes the visual better. You can find out 0.35. Because he just decided. He just decided that 0.35. Wait, why is it 35? Daniel, so a circle A equals A total order. Okay, so what's going to be here? It's point three seven. That made point four. He made up the point three five. That's, that's point four. He, that's point four. Is this point four? Yeah. 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 Why is it point so four? Because it's just the red point circle four plus is seventy five. Because if I add these two together, they have to be point seven five. Where did the point three five come from? Huh? Why is it point three five? I gave you this. Oh. So we didn't like calculate it. No, 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 I gave you this. Oh, okay. But how can we figure that out? Oh yeah, there is no there's no way to calculate it. It's just 0.35 every time? No. It's whatever. Will it be given? Yes, it will be given. Oh, the problem will say that the middle is... All right, we said it. Okay, so again, what am I trying to find out? I don't know. Who, how many girls... I'm trying to find... How many girls... How many people are girls and how many people play sports? That one's or. Or, or. So how many people are... Is there a girl or play sports, right? So I'm going to add these and three together, and correct? And or and. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. What do I get? I get 0. 0.5 plus so um, 0.9. 0. 0.9, right? So this is the way you're going to calculate that. This is the way you're going to calculate is you're going to add the two, and then you're going to subtract this guy. Yeah. Okay, so the way you're gonna, the way you should think of this is that I'm adding this guy with this guy, but I double counted the one in the middle. That's why I'm subtracting that guy. Wait, what? Okay. I double counted the guy in the middle. What's the? Because I added this guy and this guy. Can you see that? How the guy in the middle? Yeah, yeah. This guy added twice. Yeah. So that's why I'm subtracting that. So but why is that 0.03 or 0.3? No, the one on top. Oh, it's 0.5. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, good catch. Good catch. 25. 25, right? And so the Venn diagram is for or, not and? Or is yeah. So it's A plus B minus B. Okay, so, all right. Nomenclature. A. And B. A and B. A or B. Okay? All right? Are we good? So, difference, right? So you add, so I can actually, I can actually give you this and this and this and ask for you to figure this out. Right? Okay? How would you figure that out then? So if I gave you this and this, and I told you this, and I said figure this out, then you would have to add these two. So if you added these two, it would be what? 1.25 plus, I mean not plus, but negative, subtracting, I don't know what this, what this guy is, right? And this equals 0.9, right? This is the kind of situation you would you would have to figure mm. this guy out, right? Okay. All right. So that's how you do that. So let's do example number. Okay. So let's go to the uh, formal addition rule. So formal addition rule. There's a green box. The green box on the bottom. Read that. See if that makes sense. So the probability of a 
or B, A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B subtracting the probability A and B. Okay. So let's do look at example number one. Oh. Step number one, we have okay. drug testing of job applicants. We did this yesterday. It's the same data that we used yesterday. And we're, I think it was in your homework, right? This was in your homework? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so refer to table if we reproduce here for your convenience and viewing procedure. If one subject is randomly selected from the 555 subjects given in a drug test, find the probability of selecting a subject who had a positive test result or uses drugs, okay? So probability of, where probability A is, what? Probability of selecting who is positive test result. So this would be a positive test result, and B would be what? No, D would be uses drugs, right? Look at the question, at the very end of the question, okay? We want this or this, correct? So probability of being positive is what? Positive test result is 55, 45 plus 25, right? So that's 70, right? 70? So we have 70 over 555. And then the probability of uses drugs is what? 50 over 555? Because there's 45 and 5, right? Yeah. Writing those two together. So again, this is going to be equal to PA plus PB minus PA and B. What is probability of P, A, and B here? What is probability of being positive and using one, drugs? 120. Huh? 120? Where did that come from? <laughs> look, at, look at the table. 45. How many people are there? There's 45, right? 45? 45. 45. Oh. And so, 45 over 555? Yeah. So, this is going to be equal to 7555 plus 50 minus 45, 120, 45, 55 is it? Yeah. Which is 11 Isn't over it 70? So many numbers on that. Isn't it 75? No, it's 70. 75? 75. 75. 75. Well, 70. the answer is 75. 75 divided by... <laughs> I meant 75. <laughs> yeah, what does it say? The P and the P. So, this question, you can read it, actually do it a little differently because you actually have the different numbers, right? You can add the 5, 45, and 25, right? It's given to you. You see how I, I could do that? Right? Okay, and then I would just say 75 over 555, right? Without going through this whole thing. Okay? Okay, go to page 149. Definition. Disjoint. You will very rarely hear the word disjoint. You are most more than likely going to hear the word mutually exclusive. Okay, it says mutually exclusive there. <coughs> Two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. In other words, PA. So what's the value of this guy here if I am mutually exclusive? What did they just say? A and B cannot happen together, right? So A and B cannot happen together. In other words, that's zero. Right, because it can't happen together. In other words, in that case, if you're mutually exclusive, 
this is just going to be this plus this. And that's it. You're done. Okay? Alright? So let's look at some of those re examples. So disjoint event. Example number two. Event A, randomly selecting someone from the clinical trial who is a male. Event B, randomly selecting someone from a clinical trial who is a female. Okay, you can't be both. And we're not gonna go there, don't even think about it. Okay, we, <laughs> you can't be both. So this is going to be zero, right? Okay, all right. No, I said we're not going there. <laughs> Events. That are not disjoint. Randomly selecting someone taking a statistics course. Randomly selecting someone who is a female. We have living proof that these are not mutually exclusive. Right here. These people are female and they're taking a statistics course. Okay? All right. So this is not a mutually exclusive event. Correct? Okay. And the reason why I kind of, I'm trying to handle this to you is because Tomorrow, we're going to learn about something called independent. Okay. Independent and mutually exclusive are two different things. They sound like they're the same, but they're not. Okay? All right, so mutually exclusive is when it is impossible for both things to happen at the same time. Okay? <coughs> Zero. Okay? That's mutually exclusive. So for today, just remember that. Complementary events and the addition rule. Okay, well, that's took the page, go to page 150. We already talked about this yesterday, so I'm not gonna beat this horse to death. All right, we add to both of them P A and P A bar is gonna be equal to one, right? One minus the other, right? We talked about this yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna stop right there today. What do we, so what is the thing that we learned today that's the most important is going to be this guy right here, right? This equation, okay, all right? With the associated Venn diagram. Oh, okay, just at a, oh, I forgot to ask you this question. So yeah, so the previous example, so this was being female and this was sports, correct? So. Describe to me what these people are here. What does that mean? What? So, so what are they? Who are they? Boys who don't play sports. Boys who do not play sports. Does that make sense? Right? If you are, because if you're not, if you're around here, you're definitely not female. You're a boy, right? and you're not playing sports. Not or, and, right? Because if you're playing sports, again, you're in here, right? But if you're out on the outs on the periphery here, that means you are a boy and you don't play sports, okay?